Hi guys, it's Valerie here. We're putting down a um, countertop and so we have a piece that runs from the corner here to the end. However, the piece that we were able to buy in store, it's in stock countertop that we're using. It was, it is too long. So we have to cut a piece of the end here. This is how I measure to know how um, to know where to draw the line in order to cut the piece off. I take my measuring tape and I measure from the tip here down to 57 inches because that is how long I need the run of the countertop to be. And then I in turn take the measuring tape and I measure in and I see that it's 15 inches from this end. And I do that because it makes the job way easier to then go ahead and measure down here instead of trying to measure from here. That would be a challenge, right? So I in turn go ahead and I measure 15 inches on the front here. I put the mark and my hubby wants a line in the sink right here. So I put the 15 mark where the 15 inches are there. So before I draw the line to see where my hubby is gonna cut, I put masking tape on because the masking tape is supposed to actually protect the laminate while it is being cut. And so now I have my masking tape on, I go ahead and I, if you can't see your marks through the tape, go ahead and mark off your 15 or whatever inches you have. And then we're just gonna use a straight edge to join our marks. So my friends, that's an easy way to measure and cut your piece of laminate countertop to the size you need. Only we are working with the tools we have here on site, helping her with her fixer upper because we don't have all the tools we need. You wouldn't be using a jigsaw to do your cut. However, that's what we had to work with and we made it work. So. You take care now and I'll see you in the next video.